So it's the next day. You guys should have already seen my what I eat in a day keto vlog on my channel. In that vlog, I showed you guys what I ate in a day. Although it was basic, it definitely got the job done. I lost 1.6 pounds in a day. I'm about to go do my workout for the day. Today is day five for me. So throughout the week, I like to work out five days a week. So today is the last day that I have to work out. But I've accomplished my goal for the week which is working out five days this week so i'm happy i was able to do that hopefully today i can actually <laughs> stand by or i can actually keep my fasting hours so right now it's 7 54 in the morning i'm really late i like to be at the park by 7 30 to start working out but i'm still gonna get there i was really sleepy this morning for some reason but whatever so i'm about to go work out and i'll come back to you guys when i have my first meal <coughs> So, so I tried to group the items together by what I actually have. So I have um, some silk almond milk. I'm going to use this for a keto smoothie that I'll be making. Um, I have some whipped cream. Okay, so for the whipped cream, for about two tablespoons, it has 15 calories, one gram of fat, one gram of carbs, and less than one gram of sugar. So in my opinion, this is keto approved. I this is probably like my second time buying um, whipping cream or whipped cream on keto. I'm going to use this probably for like a keto snack pair with some fruit or to top like my keto pancakes I'll be making. So I picked that up. I picked up some organic Valley heavy whipping cream that's going to also be used for um, my keto smoothie if I decide to use that instead. I have some cream cheese that can be used for my keto pancakes. Um, the Kerrygold butter. This is the butter that I always talk about on here. This is a new container that it comes in. It doesn't normally come packaged like this. Normally the packaging is something like this, either a gray or gold um, box. But this is the new packaging. So this is the butter. This is just like a soft spread version of it. I guess it's easier to spread. I'm going to pick up some vanilla extract for my keto pancakes. Cinnamon for the keto pancakes also. Um, I can't pick this coconut oil, but I can definitely use this somehow on keto. So we'll find out. This is high in fat. Let's see. Yeah, this has 14 grams of fat in it. Uh, for produce, I have some blueberries. I'm going to add these into my keto pancakes. And also, I'm, I can use this as like a keto dessert. And some strawberries. I got a big package of strawberries because I'll be using these. Go alongside my breakfast items and then also in my smoothies. And I picked up one. Avocado is almost ripe. This is also for keto smoothies. On to the meats. I picked up two ribeye thin steaks. Um, this was nine dollars and ten cent. I like to cook a lot of wings, so we got a pack of chicken. Um, for breakfast items, we have a pack of applewood smoked bacon and then a pack of little smoke sausages so these are really good for breakfast if you guys can see this does have carbs let me try to focus it in but for the serving size so for five sausages five of these there's two carbs in it and it has a total of 15 grams of fat so it's really really high in fat so you can eat maybe 10 of these you'll get 30 grams of fat and only four carbs that's Oh, this is a good item to get in a lot of fat and it's still low in carbs But be careful on this because as you see it does have carbs and they will add up but also for my keto pancakes I picked up a bag of almond flour I picked up a dozen of eggs and some baking powder so hey you guys I wanted to show you a tip that I'm going to do um, for that big package of strawberries that I got Quite honestly, I won't eat this entire pack of strawberries before they would have gone bad. What I did was to go through the strawberries and I picked out, you know, the ones that have like darker spots on them that may be mushy and softer. And I set those to the side. Um, I then rinsed both of them off. So the strawberries that I thought I could salvage, I went through and kind of cut around the mushy spots. Um, and then, of course, cut off the stems and any strawberries that were larger in size that may have you know gone that quicker basically i placed them on a aluminum foil plate i'm going to this is a styrofoam plate by the way um if you have a baking sheet that would be better 
but I'm going to place these in the freezer and I'm going to freeze them like this and then once they're frozen I'll place them place them into a um, safe freezer bag like a Ziploc bag and I'll keep them that way. For breakfast you guys I have scrambled eggs with cheese. I have 10 of the sausages the little smoky sausages that I showed you earlier and then two keto pancakes. Hey y'all so this is what's left of um, <laughs> Those keto pancakes. I didn't like them too much, you guys. I don't really like this texture. And I feel as though um, I could add maybe a little bit more cinnamon. I would say this. I do like the taste of cinnamon in it. It does give it a sweet taste and a really nice flavor. You don't taste the difference in like the flour. It's just the consistency. Like I don't know if I'm tasting like an eggy taste or if it's like the almond flour that just has a different type of texture to it. But Y'all can see I didn't eat all of my pancakes, so I'm going to adjust my serving and my fitness pal, and then at the end of the day, we'll calculate everything out. But also, the eggs that I showed you earlier, I did not eat those eggs. Those were for Hakeem, so I really just had sausage and a few of the pancakes. This is my snack, you guys. I'm having Shai. some hot Shai. pork skins. This is like everyone's go-to snack on keto. I think these are Shai. zero grams. We have no carbs. Shai. So no carbs in this. Five grams of fat for about a half an ounce. So I'll probably eat a few of these. Not a lot at all. I never had this brand, so I don't know how they taste, but I'll let you know. My final numbers for today. As you can see, I have Log a total of 1,046 calories that I ate for today. I did not log my workout for today, you guys, so that's why that's only at 13, but I did do about two and a half to three miles at the park. Um, let me just go up a little here. Hold on, my battery's going dead. So for breakfast, I didn't eat anything. Of course, you guys know I'm fasting. Today, I broke my fast again a little earlier than normal, but it's okay. I still lock what I ate or track what I, what I ate today. So for lunch, I had a total of 616 calories. That was the um, little sausages that I ate along with the blueberry keto pancakes. I also added to those pancakes some whipped cream, you guys. I didn't show that in the clip. And I also added just about a tablespoon of syrup because honestly, I needed something to sort of force myself to eat the pancakes that I did eat. So I added some toppings to that and i did track what i ate you guys now this syrup is definitely not keto approved so i do want to mention that but i have to keep it honest and i added it to my tracker for the day i'm um, also for dinner you guys saw i just had a bunless double bacon cheeseburger with two pickles on it so i listed that here as well that was a total of 270 calories for my snack today i had um just a few pieces of the pork skin so i listed that here for a total of 160 calories so I have all my food listed for today. Let's go down to the macros to actually see what we did for today. I definitely went over my carb intake for today. I had about 27 grams of carbs. Well, let's check because I may actually have consumed less depending on my net carb amount. So we'll see. So right now, just the carb amount is listed as 27. Honestly, I try to stay under about 35 to 40 carbs a day, you guys. I can still lose weight. Um, eating up to 40 carbs a day so I'm not too concerned with that number for my fat again I'm still missing the mark I went under um, by about 3% with a total of 76 grams of fat and then for protein I did pretty good today I went under protein but I didn't go over it so the key is to not go over it so I'm excited about that I only did 58 grams of protein so today was still a pretty good day um, we'll see what tomorrow holds let's check before I do that let me go back and check Okay, so we actually did not go over our carb intake for the day. Because I ate 27 carbs, I also consumed 3 grams of fiber, so that leaves me with a net carb amount of 24 grams. So I stay under my carb amount if you consider the net carb amount. So today was another good day, you guys. If you want for me to continue filming these type of videos, please be sure to thumbs up so I can get them out for you. So that's going to be it for today's what I eat in a keto or what I eat in a day on keto vlog. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.